There were cool temperatures in the water, but soaring heat and humidity out of it as the athletes lined up on the pontoon for the first ever World Triathlon World Cup event in Yongo, Korea. Breaking the ground and breaking the calm surface of the water. The lead women try to push a fast tempo out towards the boys and then back into port once more. A handful of athletes finding a little bit of separation out of the front. Susanna Mikalikova, one of those leading the pack. There were plenty on her heels, however, as she came back to the waterfront and was able to get out onto the carpet and heading down to transition. The lead group of around about six or seven made their way out onto the bike course. The 20 kilometers on the circuit would be fast and flat. Could the early pace setters find more separation from the rest of the group? One of those pushing the tempo, Desiree Ridenauer, the Canadian. But the likes of Marta Krocko were also keen to try and get away from the rest of the pack. The early gap that was created, however, started to fade quickly midway through the course and by lap four of four on the circuit, there was a group of around about 21 athletes all in contention, getting ready to go out onto the run. Transition was fairly busy. It was all about finding a smooth way out onto the five kilometer course. The heat would be perhaps a problem for some, and could many handle the intense humidity of Korea. Looking to push from the word go was the favourite coming into the event, Annika Koch. The only athlete inside the top 50 in the world rankings, the German set the pace quickly out on the run. Never looked back over her shoulder, worried about her fellow competitors. There was a group of about five athletes or so, perhaps in medal contention behind her. But the German in cruise control, setting her own pace and sticking with it. And she would have plenty of opportunities out onto the run to see her gap extending and extending ahead of Romana Gajdasova, the Slovakian at the front of the chasers. The battle for the rest of the medal positions would be an intriguing one to say the least and would go down to the wire. Erica Hawley right up in contention as Koch crossed the line to be the first female winner of the World Cup event in Yondo, Korea. A storming finish from her, a storming finish for Gairosova and Erica Hawley taking second and third. Yeah, the moment was amazing because the race actually was pretty tough because um, I, from the start I actually didn't felt that strong the last day I struggled a bit uh, a bit with health didn't train I trained almost nothing but yeah in the end on the run I felt much better than expected and yeah I just tried to push from the beginning and just try to keep the pace till the end and I have to say it was so challenging because the heat was unbelievable it was you really have to take every every water station you have to take the water otherwise it will be just warm and yeah I just try to keep the pace till the finish. Annika Koch from Germany! Annika Koch taking the top spec building on her third place finish in Sunderland last week and her fourth in Hamburg this year. An athlete trending upwards.